Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, we are going to cover output into the console. So to do that is actually, you know, really, really simple. So in our main method, so this is the entry point of our application. So inside here, we will put console dot write, and there's two different, you know, ways that you can do it. You can do write and write lines. So let let's just have a look at what both of them do and they require a parameter so if you just put some empty you know, quotation markers put hello world so let's run it see what we get so you might have seen it briefly said hello world but it did actually you know stop afterwards so we don't actually want it to just you know abruptly stop so what we'll do is when we debug it, uh, which is the so if we start without debugging, so that's the version we want. So if we do debug start without debugging, one this will be very fast. So start with uh, debugging, and as you see, so press any keys. Continue. Hello world. If I change this to right line, for example, now, and if I save it. Oops, if I save it, click debug, start without debugging. The hello world now is actually on a whole nother line. I mean, yeah, it's on its own line. And anything else will be, you know, below it. So that's just something to bear in mind. Let's see what happens if we put a, let's say a console.write. So just a regular write. And if we put it in. Awesome. And I'll put something below it. Console dot write. And I'll put project. So awesome hello will project. What's this saying? No, nope, we don't need that. That's fine. It's more of a suggestion. We don't need it. And uh, I forgot. I'm going to do it with a debugging. Oh, here it is. As you can see, the right line, it doesn't put the entire content on a whole new line. It, it just says at the end of Hello World, there's a new line character. That's basically the equivalent of what it is saying. And as you can see, project is on a whole other line. Awesome is on the same line. And as an extra task, put a bunch of console.write on the same line without the white lines and I'm pretty sure you can guess what that is obviously going to do as well. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not, you know, very difficult at all. What you could do is use variables and even functions within here to print stuff out. We'll be covering that in a separate video when I have implemented the code for variables and covered all of that cool stuff. But what you can do is combine strings, and this will be useful when you get to variables. But what you would do is put something like an ampersand. Now put the other you know piece of data that you want to print out. So if I just put other space, you are amazing. Maybe put another space, and if I go to start without debugging, I think says as you can see it says awesome, you are amazing, and then hello world. So that's how you can combine pieces of data in the console. So depending on your application, you may or may not want to use consoles. If it's more GUI based, that's fine. It's still useful even in those scenarios when you're debugging, testing, and creating your application. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Please like, subscribe, you know, all of that really cool stuff. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.